All right, folks, so um, this is in anticipation of the mulch experiment that I want to uh, conduct. You can see here I have an Arduino Uno with a data logger, and uh, it's actually hooked up to an AM2315 uh, uh, temperature humidity sensor and a couple SH10s that were purchased from Adafruit a few years ago. SHT10s, I should say, and they also measure um, temperature and humidity, but they can do so in soil, so I can bury these sensors. So um, the first thing I'm going to do as part of this experiment is just upload a sketch I wrote um, that will write data to a data logger, comma delimited data, and um, uh, give you an idea of how well these sensors compare to one another just sitting here on my, uh, on my desk next to my hot computer. So <laughs> anyway, uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to format the SD card that I'm going to use for this experiment. It's, uh, the file system is FAT32, which is what the uh, data logger uses. So I'm going to hit OK on this, and I'm going to find the card on my busy desktop. There it is. I'm going to put it over here into uh, the garbage bin. I'm going to remove it, and I'm going to plug it in to my little Arduino setup right here. Okay, with that card inserted, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you my sketch real quick. Um, what this does is essentially... Um, collect data from those three sensors and write that information or that data to a comma delimited file on that SD card that I can bring up in Excel. And I basically just wanna see how um, these sensors perform just sitting on my desk for a couple hours, uh, see what the readings are like. Uh, they're not gonna be exactly the same. Uh, each sensor has its own level of precision, but I just wanna make sure they're in the ballpark relative to one another. Uh, so that I know I'm comparing apples to apples when I deploy this in my backyard. So let's go ahead and uh, upload this sketch. So it's compiling, it's uploading. Here, so, oh, it looked, looked like it did okay. So now I'm going to go to Tools. I'm going to go to my serial monitor. And here's the output. It's initialing up. Oh, uh, better uh, reformat that one more time. Um, I've gone ahead and I've removed the uh, data logging uh, shield and replaced it. And I also removed the data logger card, the SD card, and replaced that. And I'm going to try this again and see if uh, maybe there was just a poor connection somewhere in the setup. So we're going to go to tools. We're going to go to serial monitor. See what happens. And now it looks like we're good. You can see my header row right there uh, that contains the data that I'm going to be uh, collecting, the data registered by the individual uh, sensors, and then I've got the, um, uh, the string that's actually being um, uh, written to the SD card. I'm just going to let this run. I'm going to take a look at what the uh, data looks like after a couple of hours, plot it in Excel to see if there's any uh, significant variability. And that's just to give me confidence that the uh, sensors I'm using uh, are reporting data that's uh, fairly uh, consistent and uh, uh, close to one another. Uh, granted, this isn't exactly, uh, you know, a perfectly scientifically controlled um, <laughs> uh, setup, but uh, the numbers I get should be relatively close to one another for uh, temperature and humidity. Okay, so my serial terminal shows that this uh, sketch has been running for about two hours. So I'm going to shut things down on the Arduino side, pull out the, um, the SD card, and see if I can get this stuff plotted in Excel. So I've gone ahead and removed the SD card from the data logger, plugged it into the machine, opened up Excel. And now what I'm going to try to do is open up that text file from within Excel, click open, and you can see here that I've got a delimited um, character such as commas or tabs separate each field. That's the way I programmed um, uh, the way the data string should be written. So I'll say next, I'll say comma for how they're delimited, and then I'll say next, and I'll just say finish. And here's all my data off the data logger, um, pulled off of a camera card now available in Excel. So what I've done here is basically uh, reformatted the data a little bit, um, graphed it, uh, just to see how those sensors compare to each other. And you can see that um, uh, with respect to temperature, all the sensors have a little bit of bias. Uh, I don't know which one is accurate since I don't have like a reference probe to compare against. 
uh, but they're all within 0 0.6 degrees Celsius of one another. So that's not great, but it's not bad either. As long as, uh, uh, as, long as the, the difference between surface and whatever is buried is greater than 0 0.6 degrees Celsius, then uh, that shouldn't be important. What's more important is the fact that uh, the, the slope of these curves or the way they trend uh, mirror one another fairly carefully. And the same can be said about uh, humidity here. You can see that the humidity range is within 2%. So as long as there's more than a 2% uh, variation between surface and subsurface and humidity, um, the fact that, uh, that there is this variation between the three probes shouldn't be that, that um, important. Really all I'm trying to get is a qualitative, semi-quantitative understanding of how valuable mulch is for soil, uh, soil moisture retention. So uh, having said that, I've already gone ahead and uh, I looked at the pins and uh, I've gone ahead and labeled the two SHT10 uh, sensors as deep and shallow, just because there is a little bit of bias between them with respect to the uh, soil moisture probes. I only have one of the uh, AM2315 probes, so uh, nothing to label on that front. But uh, that gives me an idea of what I'm working with in terms of uh, how close they report to one another uh, all basically collected using an Arduino uh, and a data logger hooked up to those sensors uh, via a breadboard. So I'm going to go ahead and refer to this in the future when I do my field installation, but I uh, just wanted to give you guys an idea of uh, how I went about uh, starting this project.